Miles Monroe was confronted by one of his Chinese friends. How are you, my family? Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth. Welcome, guys, to this special and wonderful episode of my video today. And right in today's video, guys, I'm here with the man of God by person of the earliest in prophet, Jupiter Angel. And in today's video, guys, um, he's going to be talking about um, Mars Moro. And see, listen to this video. And you're going to be so inspired because there are a lot of people that, you know, they don't just think about creating jobs. All right. They always think about how they can have jobs and there's nothing wrong with you know having a job but you know yeah most people especially from the african countries and other um you know continent too they need to learn how to have the mindset of creation learn to create so that's what um the man of god jupiter will be talking about so before we dive into the video guys um for those of you coming very newly to my channel just can hit the subscribe button subscribe to um this channel and if, if you have not liked the video up to this point, please hit the like button like to this video, guys. Let's watch this, guys. And I'll be right back. Watch this. <laughs> I remember living in a location in Thameside called Ashton Underline. And I, my house would be like, let's say where the pulpit is there. You know, you see that pulpit? And I would say there, you know, with poor people, broke people. I was broke. <laughs> And it was like, you know, two and a half kilometers from there to town. And then 3.5 kilometers to the house. You see this? This is another house. And that is another house. So to town would be that direction. But the road to go to this location would be. So one day we didn't have anything to do. Got in the car with my wife. Sorry, beautiful wife. Uh, <laughs> Does your husband apologize after calling your wife? <laughs> These sons of mine. <laughs> Even me to call her beautiful wife is actually humility. Yeah. It should be most beautiful. <laughs> Listen, hear me well. Hear me. See, this jealousy in one room. <laughs> Hear me well. We drove one time with, with her as I was driving. Go to one location. Desperateness works. Do you know how your mother is driving now? She was failing to drive. I said, what's wrong with you? Failing to drive, failing to drive. Now it was getting to the o'clock horse. <laughs> you know, sunset time. I said, no problem. Let's get in now. I'll tell you, show you how to drive. So I'm showing here. I'm driving myself. She had never driven a car. I was just, all this driving I was doing, I was just the one driving and she would be on there. Then one time I said, okay, drive. And then boom, boom. <laughs> and it's manual. You, you get the point. I said, okay, passenger sit there. Packed. I went into the forest in UK, in a place called Ipswich. Side road here and it's a little bit difficult there so i called my brother evangelist they say come pick me up i said here are the keys find me at home <laughs> ah. you think it's a joke eh? it didn't take an hour she was coming there ah. <laughs> what are you blessing somebody just need a little bit of danger a little bit of movement. It is John F. Kennedy who described your nation, the Chinese nation, that if you get into the etymology of the words, meaning to say the building blocks of their Chinese language, you understand? Those building blocks, are you getting me? Those building blocks, they have a problem because there is to endanger is another word. The word to what? To endanger. Then the word crisis than the word opportunity that means in the mouth of these guys here from birth are you getting this from birth these guys have been told their word of crisis is nearest to the word opportunity so if you see a chinese person 
you are looking at a person who doesn't know what a crisis is. The moment they see crisis, they see opportunity in another location. You're not getting what I'm trying to say to you. You're not getting it. What is opportunity? To you, crisis means crisis. Chaka <laughs> uma. Things are hard. That's all you say. But to the Chinese, it's opportunity. Are you getting it? Chinese philosophy, opportunities often rise from crisis. So their word, even their writing in Chinese, is nearest to that word of opportunity, more than problems. So they feel crisis means I've been endangered to find another opportunity to be safe. Your word in English, crisis, means crisis. So when you see the Chinese people in every country, in every location, you say, oh, they're trying to take over. No, it's the philosophy in their language. They don't understand what it is to have crisis. What they see is opportunity. <laughs> you go to Britain right now. I'm going to touch the Chinese people for a few minutes. You go to Britain. If you've ever been to Britain, is there anyone here who has been to Britain? No, not you. We know, we know. <laughs> there is there. They can tell you, sir, ma'am, if you tell me from all the places you worked in, say, have you ever worked with a Chinese in Britain, in the company? Very few. It would be very rare. To find one Chinese you are working with in a ship, no. But just move around, drive around, and you see a corner shop there, the Chinese. They're waiting for you to finish your shift so they can sell you food. What? They see opportunity. If one black person, Miles Monroe, was confronted by one of his Chinese friends, and he's, you know, Miles Monroe was one of the greatest generals in the teaching ministry. And he was asked, what do you think is different between your people and my people? So Miles wanted to revolt the word my people. He says, what do you mean? He said, you black people and us Chinese people. Who do you think is different? He said, um, can you tell me? He said, when you move to one seat to the other, you call your relative, will I find jobs there? So one of our people moves from London to Manchester, you start calling. Can I find a shop to rent so I can put food, can, can put this in industry, can put this, or I can sell something? We are looking for jobs. Just over broke. J-O-B. That's what we are looking for. Others have a philosophy to look for who to employ. We are busy looking to be employed. I want to ask you the question, what stops you from farming? Because your father was farming at the back of your house. So that's all you know about farming in your head. You know after all levels, I need to find a job. All right, my family, there you have it. I actually believe you are blessed by that, you know, amazing, you know, story and teaching it just did there, see? That's a very inspiring something that, you know, uh, a lot of us need to learn, all right? We need to learn it, having a mindset of creation, see? We need to learn it. And, you know, with the way uh, many of us have been trained, you know, we are not actually trained to create. But if you, if, you, if you grow up, all right, and listen to things like this that will inspire you, you know that you are not supposed to grow up having a mindset of working for somebody, see? You are not supposed to grow up that way. But it's because we have been trained that way. But you can also retrain yourself. You can learn what you've learned a long time and then practice the better side of it. And that is you learning how to create. So I trust you're actually blessed in you know this particular video. And I would love to hear from you what actually blessed you. All right. So share with me in the comment section what aspect of the video blessed you. You know, to inspire me to know what next to bring to you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. I look forward to seeing my next video. For those of you coming new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, subscribe, like to this video, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.